Media Hub visited Norwegian solar company Skartex Solar's power plant situated in the picturesque Rwamagana district of Rwanda. Rwanda came up as an opportunity. We put some some teams together, both on the equity side, Nordfund being the one, and also some development banks. And we did a remarkable job together as a team. We put the financing package together in four months, which is unprecedented and has never been done in Africa before. And then we spent four months you know, building the plant, and it was up and running nine months after we actually discovered this business opportunity. So people that say that things cannot happen quickly in Africa are completely wrong. I think this is a good example of that. Renewable energy, specifically solar, is very important because the grid transmission line is not spread out in the whole country. So we need sources of energy closer or produced within the, uh, the community, within the, the area, in order for people to access the energy. The Scottish Solar Solar Plant was built a couple of years ago and where the government is very effective in, in doing all the approvals. It was done in record time, so there was a lot of help from the government. Uh, during construction, the, the project employed about 300 unskilled people, all coming from the local community. Scottish Solar uh, produce energy for the Rwandan development. They are a profitable company and they do contribute to uh, developing the local community where they are. Skatex Solar is really making a difference with their solar investments in Rwanda. They make a difference to people who get access to energy, but also to the climate, because we really need the growing economies of the world to grow without the use of coal. We need to make that growth green. I believe that Skatex Solar is really providing the future when it comes to Africa's great energy demand. When panels are covered by dust, it will obviously not produce enough power. For washing panels, we didn't want to, to bring the like big tr big truck with a tank, and we are using some P the local peoples uh, to, with the bicycles and filling the, the tank the water that they are getting. Scatex Solar, it's um, uh, it's a proactive company. It means everything is in order. The, the fact of just having only Rwandans working on this particular project. It shows that the, the, the house Catech Solar entrusted us, okay, to manage the site. Using available land on the plant, Skartec subcontracted local farmers to grow bamboo, mango and pineapple plantations for the community. We are involved in the plantation of mango trees, uh, 5,000 mango trees. Kampanyangi. Skatek Solar has committed to get involved in a community in a sustainable way through CSR project. We visited and spoke to the inspiring people heading up two of these projects, Agohozo Shalom Youth Village and School and Rubona Health Centre. Many young people who have been orphaned and who are living in precarious condition need a place like Agohozo Shalom. And so having a program like SCATEC that, um, that also works at, I would say, at national level as a partner is also something good, I would say, for the sustainability of this village. And maybe we probably need more of that. More of that. This is Catex Solar. Uh, we contribute in our many service, uh, day and night. Uh, it will contribute in re reducing cost for buying energy electricity, and we will support our people for giving a good service without any problem. The next time you fly into Rwanda, you know, before you land in the, in the capital, take a look out on the right-hand side of the plane, you will see the plant five minutes before landing. <laughs>